Meep. Welcome to Real Talk with me. Meep. Meep is about you connecting with your inner me. That voice in your head. What is it thinking now? Meep. Meep is a great reset word to bring you back into the moment and connect with your inner me. Meep, 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 meep. I'm so excited for the endless possibilities that we can create together as a community when we are connected to our inner me. People call it all sorts of things. Your inner guide, inner dialogue, whatever it is to you, connect with it. Listen to it. Become your own best friend. Connecting with your inner me is appreciating me time. What does that mean for you? The whole goal around talking about our inner me is to promote acceptance, self-love, and being you, whatever that means. Step into your truth, your magic, your true nature. Meep is an opportunity for you to connect with your inner me. Now that you've gotten there, what does it feel like? To be in this body? <sighs> to breathe? Do you feel your pulse? Move around. What does it feel like? Bring your awareness to yourself. Notice what shows up for you. Be understanding of how you're feeling and experience all of your senses. Please. Meep. Mindful, empathetic experiences, please. You did it. <laughs> Meep can mean whatever you want it to, and we want to hear your interpretation. Each of us has a unique perspective that makes us who we are. Imagine if you step into your power and purpose, the magical things that you will create. Discover what's possible when you are your me, quote unquote. <laughs> Enjoy the meet moment when you're self-aware, understanding of your feelings, and experiencing all of your senses. You can do this at any moment. Get back your me time. Enjoy each and every moment with yourself. You're stuck with you your whole life. You might as well be best friends. This has been an ongoing journey for me. Me speaking is Jamie Levy. And it's unbelievable the things that you can do when you step into your true nature. Being vulnerable takes courage. Courage is required to do anything that's on the other side of fear. Realizing that fear stands for false evidence appearing real was a game changer for me. I still constantly remind myself this. In moments when I want to just give up and start over, walk away, I tell myself to halt. Are you hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? Most of the time, it's yes to one or more of those things. <laughs> so just taking an inventory of what it is to be me, a human with all of these needs has b helped me build a foundation in myself and it inspires me to use technology as a tool to empower this individual connection with others. I hope that can be you. Meep. <laughs> The world is evolving at a rapid rate. The 
breaking point on my journey that facilitated this change was being so immersed in social media. From my career to my day-to-day life, I was always drawn to screens and social media. And it took me out of the moment. I was not present and constantly living for the future and not appreciating it when it was here. It isn't until now, this moment, and each and every moment that comes, that I'm able to be aware and appreciate being in the now. This is a constant practice. However, connecting with my inner me and becoming my own best friend empowered me to take this step. Technology is a tool and it can be used for good or bad. My goal with the MEET movement is to educate people to take a step back and be aware. What's going on? Why are you using this technology right now? What is the purpose? What's your goal? Is the reason you intended to open your computer the reason why you're still sitting there five hours later with a kink in your neck? Technology addiction is something that I'm still overcoming and it is something that we need to educate each other on and connect together as a community to overcome and use it for the best of it instead of as a manipulation tool or we don't need to even mention all of the negative things we already know. Imagine if everything was seamless from the moment you woke up. You had your perfect music playing that connected with your body and you are already connected to all of your senses from waking up and you have the perfect day that's created for you because you are uniquely me. Me, 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 me. Disclaimer, when I say me, it's about you. (laughs) Daydreaming about the future of technology takes me away in inspiration and I can talk about it for hours. The Digital Wellness Collective is a wonderful community of like-minded people that express these values to find the benefits in technology and bring them to life. Meep is hosting a Meep Up on February 18th and we are going to be coming together and discussing these things. I would love to have you there and hear from your opinions and your perspective of how technology has impacted your journey for both good and bad. How can we be aware of the cons and work together as a community to innovate the solution. And if you can't meet up in real life, (laughs) let's get connected. Whether it's on social media or email or on our website, we wanna hear from you. And please know, whenever we're using social media, our goal is to have an intention, especially on the Meep social media accounts. When we open the app, we think, our goal is to think, what are we using it for right now? Is it to engage with our community and have a discussion? Is it to post something on the feed? Are we documenting something in the moment? Maybe it's a live stream? Whatever it might be in that situation, the goal is to be aware an understanding of how our, we're feeling in that moment. Sometimes I open the Instagram app and I'm filled with anxiety already and I forgot why I wanted to open it. And then I just really need to take a breath and try to remember why I wanted to open the app in the first place. And accept the fact that I got distracted and not judge myself for that because it's natural, especially when on these platforms. My biggest goal is to just educate people and create a safe space to have these conversations. 
it's so scary to take that step and be vulnerable and speak our truth and I have been personally holding myself back from speaking my truth and feeling ashamed of the things that I have to say. However, I know that this is so important and if we're not talking about it, it's just going to continue get getting swept under the rug. And I'm here to pick up the rug and clean up the mess. Let's do it together and build something greater for the future. The MEEP movement is about empowering people to appreciate themselves. Please, love yourself. Don't worry about what's on social media, comparing highlight reels. We're human. We're supposed to feel feelings. That's what they're here for. And none of them are permanent. They come and go. (sighs) Just let it flow. Like a river. Sit. Sit on the side of the river and watch the river flow. I know sometimes we want to jump in the river and chase that metaphorical thought. And then before we know it, we're all... For me right now, I'm observing that I'm so proud of myself for speaking up. And there's so much more I want to say. And I'm acknowledging that I'm just scratching the surface. However, that's the opportunity with this amazing digital world we live in. I can sit and record and speak my truth and share it with the world. And I might be the only one that's listening to it now. However, if it inspires me to do something greater, I'm totally happy with that. And this is a moment with me. It's a me time moment when I'm appreciating myself. And I'm just so grateful because this is an example of the positive things about technology. We can use it as a tool to connect with people in a new medium and collaborate and make something greater. I'm so inspired by the possibilities and I look forward to continuing the discussion. We are hosting a meep challenge and that meep challenge is to challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone do something that's new and scary for you and be aware that it's making you stronger and going towards your goals and that's why your meep challenge is going to be unique to you because you are a unique wonderful being and you're amazing So an example of a MEEP challenge can be a mini meditation. And a mini meditation, quoting Eckhart Tolle, is just one conscious breath. So do a mini meditation throughout your day and challenge yourself to connect back with your inner me. It's that simple. Just breathing. You're already doing it. We have plenty more Meep challenges um, on the website if you want some more inspiration. And we're always happy to connect and discuss online or offline and just continue the conversation. So to be super duper clear, the Meep mission, what are we doing? Our mission is to empower people to connect to their power. Why are we doing this? To use technology as a tool. How? By providing tools and resources that foster self-discovery and me time. For example, this podcast. When? We have meep up experiences for communities to connect deeply in person in real life. Yes, in real life. (laughs) And who exactly is doing this? Anyone that's interested in connecting with their inner me and a community of meep, meeps. <laughs> I'm also so grateful to share that we have meep motivators that are driving ambassadors of these meep principles. And they help provide meep resources with their communities. If this sounds interesting to you, we'd love to talk about you signing up to be a meep motivator. Meep, 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 <laughs> meep, 
Thank you so much. I'm so grateful and I'm really excited to let you know that we have an, a few amazing interviews coming up and I'm going to keep you on your toes for that. However, if you are interested <laughs> in being interviewed or have something to say, I would love for this to be a platform for you to speak your truth and share your interpretation of how you understand Meep and live your life. Keep enjoying the moment and appreciating me time. Meep, meep out. Thank you so much. Meep, me, 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 me,